my name is Ariana, and for today's video, I'm going to be reacting to What Does Your Bedroom Reveal About Your Personality by sight to go And, yeah, so. <coughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm dying, but that's okay. Which way? Let's get started with this with natural. How we arrange and organize our rooms can say a lot about us. For many of us, our bedrooms are the most personal and intimate spaces in our homes. Colors and smells can give away your sensory interests, and small decorations can hint at your taste and personal style. For example, a messy room can mean that you're disorganized, while a very neat and clean room can suggest that you're uptight. In Malcolm Gladwell's acclaimed book, Link, he references Samuel Gosselin, a personality and social psychologist who studies <coughs> how people's behavior, appearance, and physical environment affects how they're perceived. Gosling names three variables in a bedroom that gives out clues to a person's personality. Identity claims, behavioral residue, and thoughts and feelings regulators. Oh. An identity claim is a deliberate expression about how you want to be perceived by others. For example, putting your favorite books on a shelf serves as an identity claim, because the people who enter your room can instantly get a good perspective of the things you're interested in. Behavioral residue, on the contrary, is the unintentional results of your behavior. If you leave your shoes scattered around the floor, it's probably because you're lazy. You didn't intentionally leave them there to give the impression that you're unorganized. Thoughts and feelings regulators are objects that affect the way you feel in your room. Candles that you put on top of your desk to give your room a calm feeling is an example of a thoughts and feelings regulator. So, if a stranger enters your room and takes a look around, they'll be able to gather certain aspects about your personality just by observation. Gosling proved this in an experiment involving 80 college students using a highly respected questionnaire called the Big Five Inventory, which measures people across five dimensions. 1. Extroversion Are you sociable and fun-loving, mm -hmm. or retiring and reserved? 2. Reserved. Agreeableness are you trusting and helpful, or suspicious and uncooperative? I'm Three, like in the conscientiousness. Middle. Are you organized and self-disciplined, or disorganized and weak-willed? Organized. Four, emotional stability. Are you worried and insecure, or calm and secure? Five, um, openness secure. to new experiences. Secure. Are you imaginative <laughs> and independent, or down to earth and conforming? He first had close friends of those 80 college students fill out the questionnaire. Then, he had another group of total strangers who had never met the 80 college students go into their dorm rooms and, along with a clipboard and 15 minutes to look around, told them to fill out a very similar questionnaire. The close friends of the college students calculated their friends' extroversion and agreeableness way more accurately than the strangers, which makes sense because you have to personally know somebody in order to make a better judgment of his or her personality. It's but, true. surprisingly, the strangers did a far better job than the <laughs> students' friends at predicting conscientiousness, emotional stability, and openness to new experiences. This demonstrates that it is possible for people who have only known you for a short time to learn a lot about you, just and also by looking around your bedroom. Little details like having a bottle of sleeping pills on your desk, which suggests that you have trouble with falling asleep, or leaving clothes and unfinished food all around your floor, which hints that you don't have time to stay organized, can say a lot about your passions, desires, work, and psychological state of mind. Now look around your room and try to take note of any objects that can potentially reveal parts of who you are. Which objects do you think most strongly portray your personality? Comment your answers down below. Okay. Okay. That feels pretty interesting. I would say my room, right, my desk in my room shows 
that like I like to be organized and I like to have things done a certain way. Like I don't like to be all over the place. And then like the piano I have in my room, let's say like I like music because like you know, I've been in the choir for a long time. That's just me. But like the basket of clothes I have in here, my laundry that I need to fold up. <laughs> Shows that I'm lazy, but like I don't want my clothes all over the floor, so I just put them in the basket. Cause I gotta fold them up anyway. My shoes just get messy because I only wear the same pair of shoes and I put them up against the wall. But then throughout the school year, I get too lazy to do that because like after school, I'm already tired. So I just throw them by my wall in like one corner. But overall, I would say my room shows that I'm lazy, but I'm organized and I like music. That's what I'm going to say. And food, because I have food in here too. But like, that's besides the point. And it's a real thing. <laughs> but anyway. <clears throat> the lighting in this video is way better than the last video. Just so you know, my iPad that I'm filming on is up against a candle that I set on top of pillows or a pillow on my bed that's sitting on top of my cupboard. <laughs> so, oh. Um, if that don't show laziness, I, I don't know. I'll show the filming setup I created in the next video. So as promised, I'm showing you guys my filming setup. So this is my iPad. I sat on top of this pillow. Uh, my bed is messy, so don't mind that. It's on top of my throw blanket, but I use it as a blanket, not a throw, whatever. It is up against this candle. So, cause it's heavy enough to hold the iPad up. But yeah, hey, I'm looking good. But, like, anyway, um, yeah, this is my filming setup. Usually, I'm at that chair in the back, you know, where that curtain is. Or, I'm right here, and I sit my iPad against that candle right there. Yeah, but it doesn't really provide the best lighting as, like, over there, right here. Or like right here because the light is coming towards me instead of against me. So, yeah. That's the filming setup. <laughs> but anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, don't forget to love yourself, be yourself. Deuces.